Um, and of course, as I shuffle the cards, I would much appreciate for you to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. I really appreciate it. And guess what? Let's begin. Let's see what's coming your way. And I love this. Money and wish fulfillment, right? And if you wish for money, well, guess what? Ten of Pentacles. Um, but this is a love reading. So this is about family. This is about roots. This is about foundation and stability, legacy and future. And we do have the Nine of Cups. We always love some wish fulfillment, right? And it is coming your way. It's a sense of being content. It's a sense of I have everything that I want. That is nothing else in the world that I desire. Nine of Cups and the High Priestess. We have it and we stay quiet, right? But it's the energy of spirituality. It's the energy of um, the dark and the light. It's the energy of knowledge and understanding. Um, observation, right? Being wise about Nine of Cups and the Knight of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So that is somebody out there. It looks like a masculine energy. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but can be any. We know in Tarot there is no real um, division. And this is the energy of love and apologies and moving forward. And a new energy of love with a page of cups, right? A new emotional adventure. But let's see. Let's see what we can do here. And let's see what's coming your way. your way. Nine of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. Again, goes back to money, stability, roots, finances. And you having a stable family environment or love environment. We'll see. So, bottom of the deck for the overall energy at this time. And we have the Four of Swords. We are doing nothing. Okay. Makes sense. If we've done all the work. So we do have the Four of Swords, we have the Hierophant and the Magician, of course. We do nothing because we manifest, right? So Gemini, if you are right on the verge of a new beginning, we are in, in the phase of planning, right? The Magician is having all the tools, feeling confident and saying, you know what? Something is coming, I can feel it. Um, it comes in regards to commitment with the Hierophant, right? And we plan and strategize a lot of thinking, but that's Gemini, right? A lot of thinking and a lot of planning and a lot of strategizing and a lot. The magician has a silent energy, well, a silent act, um, active energy, right? Um, in a sense that, I mean, he's by himself, but he's like manifesting and planning and all goes in his head. Um, so I kind of feel Gemini that I'm um, picking up the energy of a Gemini really full of thoughts. Um, planning, strategizing, something strong, right? The Hierophant, I mean, it's the ultimate commitment. It, um, it's also institutions, organizations, contracts, that kind of energy, right? Help, work. So I kind of feel that we are, oh, we are coming strong here. It's a strong energy, a silent strength. This is how it feels, right? The quiet strength. Um, so let's see, Gemini. Past energy on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual. Let's have the current energies on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual. And of course, you know you take only what resonates, and it can be on your side, on their side. Whatever you leave this reading with and you resonate with, you know it's yours, and it was meant for you to hear this today. And we have Ace of Cups. Oh, yeah. We are manifesting new, new beginnings and it looks like a strong love. You know, when we fall in love and we get married in the next 24 hours, kind of, that is kind of the feeling here. But we are at manifestation um, stages. You know, really being smart about. Um, so in the past, Gemini, we do have the Fool and the Strength. You might have you might have had a Leo in your life and you had to kind of walk away and start from scratch, take a risk, take a leap of faith. can be with them or without them, who will see. But as the overall energy looks like new beginnings, I believe that in the past somebody said goodbye to. And um, it has the energy of, I better, and the way I feel it, and I hope it was not such a radical energy. But it feels like I better jump off the cliff than stay here, you know. So I'm, I will grab my courage with both hands and I just jump. That's a full energy and the strength. Um, maybe it was a, an act of courage for some of you. It has something. It has a powerful statement. Into major arcana. 
And also, um, the magician and the new beginnings as a reaction to whatever you ha you left behind in an act of courage. I kind of feel that this is what's going on here. And um, yeah, um, and it has the energy of taming yourself, and it has the energy of you know what? If I have to change my ways, I will, but I will start over no matter what. It has a, um, a kind of an energy of um, of showing off too, and it's like um, you know. So, uh, it feels like half uh, being pushed to and half an act of courage because we just had enough. Now, this person of yours, um, Gemini, they felt betrayed by you walking away. They do have the Ten of Swords with the Six of Swords, right? Them needing peace of mind. Them doing something about so that they can um, be uh, back in, in emotional balance and, and being able to function. They might have had to walk away or you walked away and um, that's how they got the ultimate betrayal. And it's interesting, the um, on your side it does look like a little bit of, I don't want to say rushed because rushed has a meaning of, you know, being pushed. But it was like, that's it, I'm done, I'm out. While this person, you know, the suddenness of your reaction uh, got them straight to the Ten of Swords, right? The ultimate betrayal, like the uh, cherry on the on the Sunday, right? And which energy is between the two of you? Two of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. And yet a lot of effort was put in this connection. If you are wondering, they worked hard. The universe just confirmed they uh, dedicated their time, their energy. Uh, focus, learn to be with you. Um, while trying to keep this connection in balance, and I'm pretty sure, Gemini, you feel the same, right? And that's your mutual energies. And you know how it feels when, when people come from two different energies, it does feel like in their own way, with their own energy, with their own mind and values, right? Um, they did their best. I mean, it's a lot of pentacles here in terms of work and dedication and, and focus, right? And you had the same. So... Again, both of you in your own ways. So where are we right now? It's interesting. We made out the overall energy. We have four of swords again, right? We are a little bit seated on our butt. And we have the knight of wands. I can be, again, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You have strong energy of fire here. But maybe I feel it's, you know, you awakening to a new passion. Um, Gemini, we awaken to a new passion over here. Um, it has a sense of action and yet it has a sense of mind and planning, right? So I, I feel that we are in a different mind frame over here, right? The magician is the mind and the manifestation. Um, the hierophant is um, really a little bit of, um, of action in terms of active commitment to something. And the knight of wands is also the energy of passion and action. Knights are all about action. So... I don't feel you are into mind, but absolutely, it's like calculated move, right? Calculated action. Let me plan first and then I'll, I'll, I'll go for it. And I, I feel that you are um, ready to step in a new world here. Now this person of yours, again, a fire sign, right? We do have um, Aries um, energy, the Emperor and the Six of Wands. Of course, they, uh, this person of yours might come at, at this uh time from a place of ego and um hurt ego right ten of swords with the six of uh, six of wands is a lot of um hurt ego um you know if you ask them they went to battle for you right that's the energy of the six of wands you know i mean it's the energy of being on the line and ready to sacrifice of course uh, it usually there is a victory coming with uh, but for them, um, it was betrayal and a need to disconnect and a need to move forward. And now it's the energy of taming the emperor, right? Um, it has a little bit of rage in it by the combination of energies, but I don't, I don't think they, uh, they are enraged, but definitely in full control of themselves and a lot of pride. And probably what uh, keeps them put is this energy of pride at this time, you know? And, um, and they go and maybe people were watching, maybe uh, people, you know, um, family environment, somebody is aware of what's going on and, and they are um, kind of their ego um, got hit, you know. And it was painful. It was absolutely painful. <clears throat> now, mutual energies at this time, we do have the Wheel of Fortune and the Five of Cups. So you both have regrets for how this was handled for what happened, for the changes. 
and for the changes you are able to control and probably also for the changes you are unable to control because we know the wheel of fortune is the universe saying i am in charge for some of them and you better start manifesting because you are in charge for the rest right magician and the wheel of fortune again hand in hand the universe and human power um and disappointment yeah uh, both of you are disappointed and it has an energy of missing five of cups is my i miss you like crazy energy um and looking at the spilled cups and and not seeing that there is still love we don't know right that there is still love between um, each other so um yeah yeah and that is a lot of thinking the emperor is a lot of uh, uh, planning also strategizing the four of swords is also planning and strategizing kind of mirroring each other right so what's coming your way we do have the moon uh, Pisces energy and the world we have happy endings but you know that kind of happy ending that we are afraid of kind of energy you know in a sense that what you are afraid of is coming your way but happy endings though nonetheless it does look like Gemini we don't want it right the moon is being scared <clears throat> being in need to confront uh, to confront this to confront yourself about this um, to be in the know or in the clear about it and yet the universe with the world is saying you know um, it's better like this this um, kind of chapter is over um gemini this person of yours uh, coming their way we do have the justice and the three of swords they are simply hurt by your decision simply hurt and heartbroken ten of swords in the past three of swords coming your coming their way with the justice energy whatever justice you're looking whatever decision you're making whatever karma is uh, falling down on on them it is just painful it is just too painful for them at this time and mutual energies between you and your person king of pentacles king of wands well we might have i don't know gemini if you moved on uh by the pain on their side uh, and the masculine energy all over the place i maybe somebody here is like way on their knees and there might be people between you and your person king of wands king of pentacles we also have the knight of wands we have the strength so um aries leo sagittarius and the king of pentacles taurus virgo or a capricorn for some of you might be parents interfering somebody you rely on financially somebody you um you know you um uh, somebody who takes care of you whatever that is um and um and we are ready for new here gemini the overall energy absolutely it's a new commitment a new manifestation a new day a new world a new everything while this person is simply too hurt by everything that's going on at this point um perfect now let's ask for some guidance let's see what we need to do when it comes to this commitment so guess what you are soulmates the universe is confirming that that is a strong bond that was a significant bond between you and this person of yours life purpose some of you are really guided to look into um right it's less about love it's more about what you are supposed to do on this planet we do have divine feminine so gemini somebody here is really guided to act from a place of divinity from a place of um of higher self of um high vibrations right and look into what is your life purpose somehow because it's a love reading right kind of the universe is saying there is a connection between love and um life purpose so maybe you work with this person maybe you have a business with this person that is something you know that we need to look into and also to look into relationship patterns it takes strength to recognize the need for change um so i kind of feel um gemini right that we are we might i don't want to say we are making mistakes but we are making choices and um and at this time the universe is asking you to make choices from a place of divine feminine from um taking into consideration your life purpose and also soulmate energy right we have to act on soulmate energy and we do have medical and blessings everything has its gift kind of like the universe saying what's going on right now it has its gift now let me see 
uh, the energies we need to put back into the flow and probably we say goodbye afterwards. So we do have surrender resentment. Holding on to resentment only poisons you. Try to forgive others for their shortcomings and keep moving forward toward positive situations in your life. We do have abundance. Write it under life purpose. So there is something love and life purpose and abundance and are somehow interconnected. I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. So again, the universe guiding you to work on yourself, right? You're on yourself, your emotions, your abundance, your spontaneity. You move beyond the constraints of the mind and freely and lovingly embrace new situations. And it's interesting, it comes with uh, the Divine Feminine. And I kind of feel, uh, and I don't know, Gemini, how you deal with um, everyday life, right? But, um, you know, what is the first impulse? I feel that the message here is, what is your first impulse? Is it one of being generous and kind and forgiving? And then we cover it up because we wanna, we don't want to be taken, taken advantage of. Uh, because somehow... The universe is asking you to really let yourself go, right? If that's your first impulse of Divine Feminine, well, so be it. Embrace it and, you know, don't be afraid that people will take advantage of you, right? We do have surrender to wonder and awe. Open to the magic of every moment and sense the awe and wonder in all of life. This attitude will keep you connected to the ecstasy of flow. We do have relationship patterns and goes with surrender to wonder and awe. I kind of feel that there is something there that we need to look into. What type of men, what type of women, what type of partner, uh, partner we choose. And it has to have some magic in it, right? Wonder and awe. We do have blame. We need to surrender this. I accept responsibility for my well-being. So Gemini, I feel that you are again guided to take care of yourself we let go of negative emotions like resentment and blame we are spontaneous focus on abundance and the magic in life isn't it beautiful okay so let's have the general guidance here let's have this one and let's have three So we do have open communication. Get a weight off your chest, Gemini. Speak up with love and be heard. So if that is something that you need to say, well, now it's the, the time to say it. Brilliant ideas. Well, we know Gemini um, has plenty. So yes, your idea is divinely guided. Please take action to bring your ideas to fruition. And bottom of the deck, we have integrity. Align your actions so that they match your values an inner knowingness of what's right for you. So somebody here is guided to act from a place of integrity, from a place of ideas, creativity, and from a place of open communication when it comes to this connection. And I feel that um, with all the four swords we are getting, I'm pretty sure there is a silent treatment somewhere. Um, and we are guided to speak up. Of course, we might create Ten of Swords, uh, Three of Swords energy, but if we come from a place of integrity, of truth, of relationship patterns, right? That is something we need to change when it comes to love and choosing partners. So when it's time to do that, you know, if we come from a place of Divine Feminine, I'm pretty sure everything else aligns. Um, so Gemini... This is all that I have for you guys. You know I love you. I wish you nothing but the best. I want you to stay strong and safe. And come see me next time. Love you. Take care.